Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. I am Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about the Tony Iommi Ebophone Iconic Signature SG Special. That's right. We had a really, really heavily priced uh, Gibson one. Uh, then they had a custom shop. They had a couple different versions of it on Gibson, all of which were, you know, in the thousands of dollars. Let's actually see if we can find one right now. See how expensive they're going for if I just go to shopping. Oh, uh, yeah, a couple grand. Easy. A couple thousand dollars. Uh, looks like you can actually still get them on the Gibson website for $2,399. New. Uh, so they're still available if you're looking to get a Gibson, by the looks of it. Uh, the Epiphone version, a little bit more affordable. Uh, however... Is it worth it compared to the other SG specials that Epiphone uh, is currently offering? And that's what we're here to explore. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run down with the specs. And yeah, you get the cool sticker and it's a signature. And I'm sure these are going to sell like hot to cakes. Uh, but I think they're getting to a price point that's a little a little scary. Um, and, and we'll talk about that. Let's go ahead and read through this and then we'll get go, get, go from there. Powered by two Epiphone Pro P90s, so no fancy pickups, and sporting a classic vintage cherry finish, this is the most affordable take yet on the Sabbath guitarist legendary Monkey 64 SG Special. Last summer, Gibson unveiled an artist collection edition of the Tony Anime Signature SG Special Legend Guitar, a more affordable version of the Ultra Limited Edition Custom run of the guitar that was released in 2020. It was based on the Black Sabbath guitarist legendary Monkey 64 SG Special. They even did a little cool, cool little advertisement for it, even though the guitar is not in like half of the video. Now Epiphone has unveiled a take on a six string that is more affordable, still while retaining the traditional look, one of the guitars that birthed heavy metal. Naomi's newest signature guitar features a two-piece solid mahogany body and a bound one-piece mahogany neck with a very unique rounded profile and a 24 three quarters inch scale length, 12 inch radius, Indian laurel fretboard, no rosewood here. 22 medium jumbo frets. The SG is powered by a pair of chrome-covered Epiphone Pro P90s, as opposed to the Gibson Artist Edition waxed potted P90s and the Custom Shops version hand-wound pickups that are controlled by the same layout. A three-way pickup switch, two pairs of volume and tone. Like the Gibson Artist version, the Epiphone Iomi features a Grover Omatic tuners, a multi-ply pickguard, a GravTech nut, and an adjustable wraparound bridge. All hardware on the Epiphone is finished in nickel, as opposed to the chrome hardware finished on its Gibson Artist counterpoint. A reproduction of Iomi signature can also be found at the back of the SG headstock. And yes, you do get the, the monkey signature as well. It's interesting they call this a one-piece neck. Um, I'll, I'll go over that yet again. I'll go over that in a moment. The Epiphone Tony Iomi SG Special is now available in a vintage cherry finish in both left and right-handed. So if lefties, there you go. I'm getting a little bit of love for $999. Yeah, there's your shocker. The guitar comes with a hard shell case that contains a static... Okay, we do get a hard shell case. So, all right. That, there's at least $100, 150 bucks right there. We'll say at least 100 The guitar comes with a hard shell case that contains a static cling reproduction of the famous monkey sticker... Uh, a static cling reproduction. So it's not an actual stink sticker. It says static cling reproduction of the monkey sticker. So that's interesting. It's a, so you don't get the residue, I guess. You can take it on and off. That's kind of neat. Uh, that graced his signature. For more information, go to the website, which we're going to do. So here it is. Uh, we do have a bound fretboard. We've got chrome pickups. Let's see. Will it let me make it bigger? No, it won't. Uh, supposedly, that is a one-piece neck. Uh, the Grovers, Grovers are heavy tuners, uh, so this is probably going to be the typical, you know, neck heavy <laughs> SG, nothing wrong there, strap button up there on the horn, body looks pretty nice, uh, let's see, yeah, there's your, your pro buckers, this is the, uh, keep in mind though, this is, to my knowledge, the only Epiphone SG that has the chrome P90. So if you really want those Chrome P90s, I mean, this is uh, where you gotta go. So now if we go to body specifications, so two-piece solid mahogany body. So no veneer on this one, like your typical SGs. Uh, where we can actually do a comparison. So this one 
is the most comparable. It has the binding, it has the pro buckers. The bridge is not adjustable. Uh, so, I mean, it's it, it's got an intonation bridge on it, but it's not as adjustable. It doesn't have individual saddles. Uh, so that is a difference there. Gloss, this, if we go down to the specifications here, uh, it just says mahogany. So, you know, this is not a two-piece mahogany. It's mahogany in general. Uh, we go to the next specifications, rounded CIOMI, uh, where this is a 60 slim taper, so different neck shape. Um, now, nowhere does this say this is a one-piece neck. Uh, typically, it will, uh, on the website, tell you if it's a one-piece neck. Uh, I don't believe it specifies it anywhere unless they just haven't updated it, because that's definitely a feature uh, that you don't see on Epiphones very often. So if it does have a one-piece neck, that needs that should be mentioned in here, but it doesn't. You know, Graph Tech, uh, this is also a Graph Tech, glued in, 22, you know, pretty much everything's the same there. Scale length, binding, all of that. Um, go to the hardware specifications on the IOMI, nickel. Got the Monkey SG pickguard, 5 ply. Obviously, that is no, I don't think there's any pickguard on this one at all. Well, there is a pickguard. Uh, this is, yeah, this is 5 ply as well. Uh, light, oh, they call it the lightning bolt wraparound. Um, 5 ply, 2 button, bottom of the heel and back. Oh, so the actually, this one, the, uh, the strap placement is slightly different. This one's right on the horn, uh, where the other one's on the back. So that is something uh, different. You know, grammatic. Grovers, uh, okay, this one does have Epiphone Deluxe tuners, so, you know, different tuners as well. I would say Grovers are a little better than the Deluxe, but if the Deluxes are working, there's really not an issue. Electronics, this is probably going to be pretty much the same. You got Pro Bucker, Soap Bar, Pro Bucker, P90, uh, oh yeah, different, I guess different, maybe a slightly different size. I believe this is going to be the, pretty much the, essentially the same pickup. Uh, two volume, two tone, three way selector. Uh, if we go to Mo Monkey Static Cling Sticker, hard shell case included. This one I do not believe comes with a case. It might come with the optional hard case. But uh, for the price point, you know, you're talking over double. You know, this is this is four hundred and forty nine dollars as opposed to this. You know, being a thousand. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks cool, you know, you get the monkey sticker and everything, but is it worth $500 more than essentially the same thing? I mean, yeah, might multiple pieces of wood, different finish, uh, electronics are all the same. Now, it does not mention on this that this has CTS pots, uh, however, upon pulling up a review here, uh, this dude's name is the Guitaristus, probably butchering... Guitar Isis. Isis? I think Isis. Uh, these, to me, just, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, those are full size pots. Uh, those look to me like CTS pots, because to my knowledge, all Epiphones now uh, ha are built with CTS pots and a Graph Tech nut. Um, at least to my knowledge. I mean, it doesn't specify this, because I know over here it does actually specify the CTS pots when we go to electronics. Switchcraft as opposed to this. Uh, this does specify heavy duty Epiphone. So, yeah, that's interesting. Now, there are other SGs. If we go back to modern SGs, uh, actually, maybe it wasn't on modern SGs. Okay, yes, this was the modern SG. If we go to original SGs on here, there's a couple other we can compare it to. Uh, so, this is the 61 899, and then we have another P90 special. Didn't we just see that one? Ah, uh, let me see what's going on with this website here. Modern. Oh, P90, I, I did the Ward share. I think this is the cheaper one. It doesn't have the Pro pickup, so let's see, electronics. Oh, no, this does have the Pro. Uh, now, let's go, if we go to Modern, does, the, does that one also, are they both Pro? Maybe they are both Pro. Yeah, they are. They're both the Pro uh, P90s. That's interesting. But, uh, yeah, let's go back to the modern, and we'll go, we'll run through the specs of this one, too. The, this is a satin finish. Um, doesn't really spec nothing under optional. Yeah, this is also Epiphone Heavy Duty Hardware. Lock Tone ABR, Batwing, Stop Bar. 
Uh, does it specify? Yeah, these are also the Pro. Pro Soap Bar, pre P90s. Uh, 60 Slim Taper. It just says Mahogany. You know, that doesn't really specify how many pieces. Um, I, I kind of want that 61. I want to see this one because I believe this one might specify the one-piece neck. Let's see if it does. It actually does not. Um, so I admit, that's kind of interesting. You would think that they would mention that. Let's see for every stage if it specifies uh, a one-piece neck. It has, oh yeah, right here. It also has the one-piece mahogany fast-playing slim, slim taper neck, where I do not believe it specifies that in here. Ah, uh, here it is, a bound one-piece mahogany neck. So, we do have a one-piece neck. But, at the same time, doesn't this one actually come with the Gibsons? Yeah, this one comes with the Gibson Burst Buckers. Um, I think it's, this is, is this also a two-piece body? Let's see. Solid mahogany. This is a one-piece. This is actually a one-piece body. That is actually pretty cool. One-piece body, one-piece neck, with <laughs> Gibson pickups. So... That's something to keep in mind, too. Um, I mean, for half the price, you can you pretty much get a, a, an SG special with the pickups, uh, where as opposed to $100 less, you're getting a one-piece versus a two-piece body, uh, better inlays, better pickups, two-nematic bridge. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not looking good. When you can get better specs for $100 less, uh, they could they could have put Gibson P90s in here, you know, for for thousand dollars. Why why are there not Gibson P90s in this? Let's be honest. Um, that that's kind of I don't know. It blows my mind because I like this thing, but at the same time, I, I don't see justifying paying five hundred dollar five hundred and fifty dollars more for a sticker. Essentially, you're paying five hundred fifty dollars more for chrome covers, a sticker. Uh, and a slightly different, you know, more intonatable tailpiece, which, which I mean, you can always buy an aftermarket one for like 30 bucks anyway. Um, so l let me know your thoughts in the comments below, because I think I'm dragging this out too, too much. Maybe I'm thinking about it too much or something. But uh, I, I understand signatures, guitars always have a premium, but double the price? Double the price? It, I, I just don't see it. I'm, I'm not seeing it. This is something uh, that maybe resellers are, might like, you know, if, if you're going to buy it and then resell it, if it's hard to get after a couple of years. Um, but I see this thing losing significant value, especially if the sticker's not on it. Uh, I don't know. If, is there any other indication? I think there is a signature. Yeah, there, there is a signature in the back of the headstock. All right, so you can tell by the back of the headstock at the very least. But... Um, I'm not seeing the. I'm not seeing this being worth touching a thousand dollars. I could see this maybe for six hundred, uh, you know, a couple hundred dollar premium on it, uh, but but not not five hundred and five hundred fifty dollars. It's it's just just too much. It's 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 too much. I'm sorry. I'm I'm dragging this out. I know I am. I'm dragging this out. Uh, I'll end it there. Uh, subscribe notification bell. Get me to a thousand subscribers so I can finally get monetized. That'd be great. Uh, comment what you want to see for future guitar music related videos like. Uh, notification bell, subscribe, done, end video, have a good one, thank you for watching.